it's Kirsty of Kirsty Does Stuff. Lovely to see you again. Today I've been noticing lots of exciting things happening in the plants around the house and some other things, some other little treats that I might have bought myself along the way since I last saw you. So I thought we'd go over the new plants that I've got, the new orchids and uh, some of the ones that might be having a little spike to themselves seeing as it's spring. Okay, so I have been, as you know, desperate to buy different kinds of orchids all over the winter, all over the early spring, nothing's available until our local supermarket decided to put on a show. Now, um, the supermarket I'm talking about is Morrison's and um, I haven't seen them anywhere else. I've just seen the normal Phalaenopsis, but look at this beauty. So this to me, it just had a generic tag in it, but this to me looks like an orange Nelly Eiler. It's certainly an Oncidium orchid um, and it's in great nick. Uh, there was a little broken bit down here that I took off, but it's just been thriving since then, covered in flowers and much to my excitement, a new spike. It's just fabulous. Just a gorgeous plant um, and as with all these ones that I bought at Morrison's they were eight pounds each. If I had bought that online I'd be lucky to get any change out of 30 pounds um, but it's beautiful, healthy, it's still in the medium that I bought it in. I'd normally um, repot them quite quickly but as they're looking beautiful there's no need you know there's no need to upset them when they're looking gorgeous i don't want any flowers to drop uh, just because i wanted them in a different pot so this sits in our kitchen and it's just beautiful right the next one also an oncidium also a beautiful color and also from morrison's for eight pounds look at that it's just gorgeous um, again, no name, uh, just no ID. This actual, the actual plant doesn't look quite as strong as some of the other ones. As you can see, it's a little bit, there's one pseudobulb there and the one that's flowered in here, they're both a bit withered. Uh, but I shall build it back up and get it to be as beautiful next year. I hope. <laughs> so yes, again, another one I've not repotted because it's doing its stuff and I don't want to upset it, but it's just a gorgeous colour. I'll pop this one over. Next is the sort of red version of the Nelly Eiler, I think. Again, no ID, but with the, the lip like this, uh, it's, it looks like, is it Swiss Beauty? The Nelly Eiler one that's quite common. Um, again, this one's got better pseudobulbs. It's not the strongest looking plant, uh, but it's not bad. We've got a, a new shoot coming here. Um, the thing with this one as well, I've had to um, treat it a little bit because it did have some tight it wasn't like green fly oh, but it was like some kind of aphid thing on the backs of the flowers so I just sort of spot treated with alcohol because I didn't want to um, spray the whole thing with isopropyl alcohol but once it's finished flowering I will I'll do the whole um, spraying the roots and spraying the the top the foliage because there's a bit of stickiness there that looks not great but uh, at the moment it's looking gorgeous so I'll leave it alone. Next we have is this I think this is the last one from Morrison's. None of the, I had the decorative pots already they're not from the shop. Um, this one looks so healthy look at the body on this um, this one I got and it was full of bud but I had no idea what the flowers would look like and I've not been disappointed they are stunning you can see those amazing 
just beautiful and fragrant as well. I've never seen one like this before. It's just gorgeous. And look at the size of the cedar bulbs. They're huge. And just, there's another wee flower spike here, but I'm not sure how much that's going to do. It's kind of stopped, <laughs> stopped in its tracks. But it might give us one or two flowers. Um, again, in its original pot, haven't repotted yet. Lovely, oops, big healthy new growth here and here. And I think it's just the two, but that's pretty good. Um, just stunning. Again, waiting to repot, but I will <laughs> when the time is right. Now we're going to move on. this fragrant beauty here. Now I have been quite obsessed by people's Miltoniopsises. I had one that I remembered buying from um, a local DIY shop about three years ago and uh, you probably heard this <laughs> story, I tell it a lot. Um, it looked beautiful but then I wasn't sure what to do with it so I kind of left it in the sun lounge and it got a bit it got a bit dry and it got a bit cold and, and all the oncidiums that I bought at that point because uh, I just wasn't sure what to do. And then all of a sudden I got this desire back to bring them back to life and uh, watched a few videos and got some knowledge and um, they are all, all the ones that I still had are doing really well. So um, this, and yeah, and so we'll show you that one in a minute, the original one um but i wanted more and last the end of last year i bought a hair hair alexander and uh from spice sotic plants online and that came of course it wasn't in flower it was the wrong time for it but it looked pretty healthy rearing to go so that went on the windowsill and got taken care of and i've been looking and googling almost constantly for Miltoniopsis for sale in the UK. Lots for sale in the US, not so many here. Um, I'm not sure why, because this is, seems to be the time of year that they're all showing off. But there is, um, I think it's houseplant.co.uk and they have just got Miltoniopsis in, but it's a surprise. So you order one and the colour that you get is a surprise. So of course I, I took a punt, I ordered, ordered one and it looks very like the Hair Alexander that I've already got. <laughs> but it is beautiful, it smells great, it came with these flowers, I think they're just about to go over. The fragrance is lovely, it, I just sit it here and when I'm sitting in the seat it just wafts over you, it's beautiful. Um, so yes, it's again not repotted yet till the flowers go. We've got one cedar bulb here and one new growth here. So we're set for a good, a good future with it. And it is very lovely as well. I'll just point all these flowers towards the camera. Um, so not a bad buy, a very good, well, a good buy. These are a different kind of price range. Um, now I'm trying to remember how much the plant cost with, with, Post and packing, it was £32, I think. Um, it's sort of the late 20s, 28, 29 maybe. Uh, and so it just shows you the kind of difference between supermarket shopping for pretty decent quality plants, I think, and online shopping for specific things. So, yes, anyway, I thought. I'll contact the company and I'll see what they say about, I'd like to order another one, but I'd like a pink one or a yellow one or a red one, anything but white. Um, and they were very helpful and got back to me and said, um, just put a little note in the, there's a bit for putting a gift message on it. There was a little bit for that. So uh, I could write in there, please, can you make sure I get coloured one. So I got a wee notification there so that should be coming tomorrow so I'll be interested to see what colour I have got. Anyway so that's that milk. Now I 
do have my other Miltoniopsis to show you, but I wanted to show you this first. Right, this is another one from the supermarket. Um, it's a monster of a plant. Again, eight pounds from Morrison's. Monster of a plant, pseudobulbs to die for. Obviously an oncidium type, but with no, uh, no tag or anything to say what one it is. We've got two new growths, one in there and one in there. But the flowers, they weren't opening. Um, they've just kind of stalled. And I have managed, you might actually, I think I can see one there. You might actually, can you see that? <laughs> I'll try and put it as close as I can. Where is it? Where's it gone? There it is, right in there. It seems to be infested with the dreaded mealybugs. So I did the touch treatment with the isopropyl alcohol. I was hoping that one of the flowers would come out so I could see what they look like. But I'm looking at the way it's shriveling up just now. I think I'm going to have to get rid of that flower stem and spray the whole thing down um, just to give it its best opportunity for next time. I thought I'd got them all, but that's a, a big one there. And they're just sucking the sap out of the plant, you know, and, and therefore it can't flower. Uh, so before it spreads, or goodness me, spreads onto any of my other plants, um, because I've had mealybug outbreaks before and they ain't pretty. <laughs> They're quite difficult to deal with. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll take that spike off and then take it outside and give it a wee systemic spray. And hopefully we've nipped it in the bud, so to speak. And uh, we'll look forward to flowers from this, either in the autumn or the spring next time. Right, on to some existing plants that I have and their exciting turn of events. This, uh, I'll show you this one. Hopefully it's going to do well. This little, <laughs> little thing here in self-watering pot, one pseudobulb and one new growth. This is Miltoniopsis pink lemonade and um, I bought it from a chap on eBay I think and uh, we had this terrible backwards and forwards because he had notification that had been delivered and we didn't have it and it wasn't anywhere to be seen and somebody else had signed for it and uh, so he, he kindly sent me out another one so I did get one Um I hope it's going to do well uh, I just have to leave it and hope that the roots grow and that we get some some more you know bulk from it in time I know it's a very small plant in a bigger pot but it was a smaller self-watering that I had so we leave that there right the original Miltoniopsis that I bought from home base about three years ago and uh, neglected horribly didn't know what to do with and it went it's gone all floppy you see but um there are new growths there's a new growth here doing things and when i had a i had a wee sort of examination of the plant i came across i suppose what you would term as a trapped flower spike see there so this flower spike was caught in the leaf you can see how it's all wobbly so i managed to withdraw it from the leaf and put it on the outside so hopefully it'll straighten up now and um, but just behind it you know how you have your pseudobulb and then you have leaves shooting off either side and the flower spikes come from these leaves uh, sometimes you might just get one from one side sometimes you might get one from both sides well just looking at this try not to spill the water because it's all in the reservoir um and get a good shot of this so we've got the flower spike there 
and then behind the leaf on the other side don't want to damage anything oh there it's in there there is my big thumbs in the way if I move it can you see there is another flower spike in there so we've got some buds there that hopefully will straighten up and we've got flower spike coming from the opposite side that hopefully will do its stuff as well. So I'm very excited by that because I've had this a number of years and nothing's happened. So something's happening now. Right, this is the hair Alexander I was telling you about that I got from Spice Sotic Plants. Um, he is looking good, behaving beautifully, new shoots in places. And we have got a little flower spike bit more obvious this one. Can you see it in there? Can you hold that back a bit? Can you see? There we are. Oh, exciting, exciting. So I'm looking forward to that one flowering as well. Okay, table's getting full now. <laughs> We've got the last two here. This one's very drippy. He lives upstairs, but as you can see, all three cedar bulbs, is there three, one, two, three, four, apart from the oldest one, which is this one, I think, they're all really filled and plump and beautiful. So that's fantastic. So when I just started to, to discover that I was getting spikes and it was that time of year, um, I decided to have a look at everybody. And this one, even though this leaf seems kind of sealed up, there is a spike coming down in there. Oh, let's see what's behind there. Can you see? <gasps> so exciting. So I have no idea what this one looks like. Um, it's one of the original ones that I had before as well uh, and managed to put it in self-watering, make it happier with life and so we'll see when this one comes out what it's going to look like. Then I can label it up maybe, <laughs> at least with the colour if not the type and variety. Right, last one. Here we go. Uh, this is, I don't think this is an original. An OG, if you like. This is um, one that I got at the end of last year that I think I just picked up in a supermarket that was like bargain bucket, two pounds kind of thing. And I thought, oh, he's not sitting him off of that. So um, he's been doing well. He's sitting in a bit of water just now, which I know is not the done thing, but he's just had some nice plant food to sustain him. We do have a few roots. That I've got a few and a few ones actually that are going up the way instead of into the medium so I'm not sure about that there's no leaf that's forcing it up this one's got one this one's got a wee one there we go he might go down now if I pull that one back he might go down but anyway look at this this was another trapped flower spike and um, you can see there how it's kind of tilted over there but it's straightened up a lot and hopefully it will keep going, keep going up the way. And then we can see what kind of flowers we're going to get from this one. There's not one on the other side. Oh, there is one on the other side. <laughs> I was like, I'll check that. There's nothing there. No, there is. It's really far down. It's really new. But there is another one on the other side. That's amazing. I'm so pleased. So, as far as I have noticed, as far as I've found, these are all the plants that are spiking at the moment and the ones that I bought in flower. Um, so I'm very pleased that things have started moving on. I'm very pleased that it's spring and they get more daylight and more beauty in the garden and more beauty in the house as well. They're just gorgeous. Um, 
So, yep, yeah, I'll take you along when we do anything with this lot, if we repot them or when the flowers come out. And that's all from me today. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend and I hope to see you again next week. Take care. Bye.